towering above you and all the flames and the smoke. A billowing smoke everywhere, right? Old converted. Of course, the rocket people made us made us stand miles away. This is a download from BBC Learning English. To find out more, visit our website. Six Minute English from BBC Learning English. Hello and welcome to Six Minute English from BBC Learning English. I'm Rob and hello, I'm Finn. Now, Finn, there's nothing I like more than tucking into a juicy steak, munching on a hamburger, or chewing on a nice piece of roast beef. Oh, it does sound good, doesn't it? But meat eaters like us might need to think again about the amount we eat. Yes, that's right. Because in the program today, we're discussing how eating meat. Can add to the problem of greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gas is a type of gas that stops heat escaping from the atmosphere, and causes a greenhouse effect. It warms up our planet, and that leads to climate change. Yes, and that's not a good thing. We've heard in the past about greenhouse gas being caused by pollution from factories and from using containers of things like paint or perfume, which is kept under high pressure so that it can be sprayed. We call these aerosols. But according to a recent report, the production of meat is also adding to the problem. We'll talk more about this soon and look at some related vocabulary, but not before we've set today's question. So, are you ready, Finn? Oh, I'm very much. Ready and waiting, Rob. Good. <laughs> well, according to a study in America, how many tons of beef is produced globally every year? Is it a fifty-nine million tons, b sixty-nine million tons, or c seventy-nine million tons? Let's go super size on that, Rob, and say seventy-nine million tons. C. I'll let you know the answer at the end of the program. Let's continue our discussion about the link between meat and greenhouse gases. Research from Cambridge and Aberdeen universities estimates greenhouse gases from food production will go up 80% if meat and dairy consumption continues to rise at its current rate. Now, consumption here means the process of eating food. So that means more and more of us are eating meat. There's a surge. Let's find out exactly why from BBC Environment Analyst Roger Harabin. See if you can hear why meat production is causing the problem. The surge in meat eating will drive more deforestation as farmers seek increasing amounts of land. The study says cutting forests releases greenhouse gases from the wood and the soil, and fertilisers create greenhouse gases too. The report says under current trends, agriculture alone will cause the world to bust its targets for reducing the risk of dangerous climate change. So eating more meat means farmers need more land to keep their animals on, and to get more land, they need to cut down trees, which is called deforestation.、Mm, it's deforestation, cutting down forests, that causes greenhouse gases from wood and soil to be released. And there's another reason too. The use of fertilisers. Yes, and these are natural or chemical substances added to the soil to help plants grow, like these plants used to feed the animals.、Mm. And another problem is that more of the fields used for growing crops that we eat, like wheat, are being used to grow food to feed the animals that we later eat.、Mm, yes, so research has shown that beef cattle need 28 times more land than pork. Poultry or dairy farming.、Mm, so it's a big problem, but many of us have an appetite, a need, or interest for meat, especially for carnivores. Carnivores really are animals who just eat meat, but we refer to humans as carnivores too sometimes because they just love meat. They love their meat, <laughs> don't they? Yes. And something else is tempting us too. It is something is encouraging us to eat more. See if you can hear what it is in the next part of Roger Harabin's report. The real challenge is the public's appetite. There's a burger restaurant boom in major cities. People are voting with their bellies, and it's not normally mushroom burgers they're after. Some interesting language there. He described the increase in burger restaurants as a boom, so a major increase. And he said people are voting with their bellies.、Mm, it's a nice phrase. He means people are showing that they like burger restaurants by going to them and eating more. 
And they're not buying burgers made of vegetables or things like mushroom burgers. They're buying and eating meat like beef burgers. Yes, indeed. So, with meat consumption predicted to double in the next 40 years as people globally get wealthier, it's a problem that's not going to go away. A bit like today's question. Oh. <laughs> so, yes, today's question was according to a scientific study in America, how many tons of beef is produced globally every year? I went for the biggie, Rob. I went for C 79 million tons. That's a lot to eat. But Too you much? are wrong, yes. The uh, answer is actually 59 million tonnes, which is still quite a lot. Indeed. This is according to the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. It also found cattle are the biggest source of greenhouse gases, accounting for more than three quarters of all gases made by farming livestock around the world. Well, before we chew over that fact, mm. Finn... <laughs> good. Could you please remind us of some of the words we've heard today? OK. Tucking into... Greenhouse gas. Consumption. Deforestation. Fertilizer. Appetite. Carnivore. Boom. Well, that brings us to the end of today's Six Minute English. Mm. We hope you've enjoyed today's programme. Please join us again soon. Bye bye. Bye. That was BBC Learning English.